Here we have a uh, starter generator. It's a GE starter generator. And my terminal posts, can't see them, but I'll tell you which ones they are. This little terminal post is terminal post A. This big terminal post is E negative. And this other big post on the other side is B positive. And on the far side is another one that looks like the A post, but is labeled D. <clears throat> you have to shunt a wire from A to B positive. And that feeds the, the field. And then we connect our regular heavy wire. Now this, this heavy wire right here is just hooked to another motor, so it's not being used right now but I can still do all my testing. I have a 12 volt lithium battery kind of hiding behind here um, that I use for battery testing and doing all that stuff. <clears throat> um, anyway, so I'm just using a regular um, one aught cable. I believe that that's what this is. Um, Something like that. A anyway, um, so I'm gonna, I've got my positive hooked up to my battery pack. And then my negative, I'm gonna just touch the negative post here and touch this one here. And there's what it sounds like. And it's a counterclockwise rotation. It's a counterclockwise rotation, it's not real fast. Shouldn't be any faster than that with like a 12 volt setup on it. Just boom. Pretty slick and easy. Now, I'm not sure if I can wiggle this thing out of here. So I'm going to unhook my piece right there. So it has some magnetized stuff in it right now. So let's see what happens here. Nothing. Nada thing. And if I put it here and touch it here, not a thing. But I put my field over here and it runs. Notice that? So what I did is called field weakening. I took the field off, so there's almost no power. It's just a slight magnetized in there, and it's taking advantage of that. So I started up. field on it it's gonna it's gonna drag it back down like regenerative braking but there's almost no torque on that when I speed it up like that it just runs fast see that kick in there that's because I still had power to it when I put that field back on and it just came down fast. So that's what these things can do. So you might want to play with that, see what you think. stops. So there you go. There's a little bit of playing fun that you can do with your uh, little motor. Um, motor's still running cool, but the back end of the motor here, and I'll swing the camera around, is open, at least on mine, and not just into the, not just into the brushes, but on the very back side. And there's actually a cover that goes over these things. 
and the cover goes over it. It's got a big hole in it to have a big blower that blows air in through this thing. And they need, these things need a lot of air for cooling when you're running them. So when you're running it with the field connected, there's a lot of torque. There's going to be a lot of torque to the motor, so it has some good power. But you have to get some good voltage to it in order to get it to run fast uh, with, with the uh, field windings turned on. Without the field windings um, or, or field weakening is basically what it is. Um, it's not how you properly do field weakening, but that's the basic premise. You can uh, sit, standard SEPX motor, you just reduce the voltage to the field and the motor speeds up because there's there's but there's less torque so if you want the torque and you're going to need it on a low volt system you want to just leave that hooked up don't worry about anything and something over here is kind of hot so my power kit my power cable here i got i heated it up pretty good so anyway there you go that's my short little video and um and you can play with it, do with it as you please. So underneath it, there's my other one. That's my big one. Basically the same size, length, motor, and diameter. But this one was specifically designed for generator use only. Built similar. Has uh, your A post, your D post on the far side. Your um, positives, this one has two positive terminals and one negative terminal, so it doesn't matter. But the C and B, or yeah, the C and B are the same. Um, so it doesn't matter which one of those you use on that one. That's not quite the same as what you have. And you can also see the, the differences in the, end, in the end plate here versus this one here. They are slightly different yeah this one bolts bolts in so you can see the uh, Keeler adapter but I just want to show you the back side of these motors are open too and the back side of those motors need a lot of air flowing through them And the generator that you there, the engine you see there is a diesel engine to run the little motor here to generate power. So that's what I'm using it for. And this one here, I've just played with it. Uh, it's got new bearings in the adapter. Um, can be used in a bug or any Volkswagen. Um, so anyway, we'll uh, we'll email again later.